You are now muted. Good day, everyone. My name is Stuart Fisher, and I'm the Communities Coordinator here at ASUG. I'd like to welcome you to the ASUG webcast, Using Excel to Interact with SAP ERP Finance, and thank you for participating today. A few announcements before we get started. Look for information on upcoming events in your personalized newsletters. We now have a streamlined communication process where we send two communications a week. On Monday, we send the webcast newsletter, and then every Wednesday, we send the chapter and local meetings and events newsletter. Annual conference is right around the corner, June 3rd through the 5th in Orlando, Florida. There's still time to register, and we hope to see you there at the ASUG Hub. Today is the date for ASUG SAP Analytics and Business Objects Conference, September 22nd through the 24th, the Omni Fort Worth in Fort Worth, Texas. A few housekeeping notes to keep in mind. All participants' lines are currently on mute. However, we would like to make sure that participants are asking their questions throughout the webcast. If you do have a question, please type it into the Q and A in the into the Q and A function in the WebEx. We'll also be taking questions over the phone line after the presentation if you'd like to ask them out loud. I will come back on after the presentation and we'll give directions on how to ask questions over the phone line. Today's webcast is being recorded and the recording, and the recording will be sent out to all registrants and posted to ASUG.com. I'd now like to turn it over to Julian Devlet, Chair for the Managerial Accounting SIG. Thank you very much, Stuart. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm very excited. Thanks everybody for attending today, spending the time with us. Um, it's, it's, we are uh, trying something new today. And um, it's very, uh, can you pass the ball to me, Stuart, please, for the presentation? Uh, we're trying something new today and very special. The reason is uh, we have <laughs> seen across numerous uh, uh, conferences that uh, people in the controlling and finance community are heavily users of um, Excel. And there are a lot of opportunities out there to discover applications that are very useful. However, you have to stumble upon them. So the, uh, the goal here today is not a, it's not a commercial. It's we're really not trying to sell you anything, especially not from the ASIC point of view. We're not recommending one option over the other. <clears throat> we are trying to get you to discover that there are options out there. And yes, Excel is still the number one uh, tool for controllers. So without further ado, we have invited today uh, five different applications. The first one is Excel for Haps, then Z Option, then Kern, then Truqua, and then Kasten will uh, take over for SAP still presenting options from Excel. <clears throat> because we're trying to be uh, playing on a fine fine rope here, we're trying to get them every uh, limited to 10 minutes only, and we will not be taking questions uh, just to make sure everybody has the same time. However, at the end of the presentation, you will have information on how to contact the vendors. And um, I would really appreciate if you could give me feedback on, did you like this presentation? Do you want it uh, more or not? Or did you hate it and, um, and you don't want to see that anymore, right? So we're really trying to do something, uh, something new, something different here. All right, so from there, I would like to invite um, Melissa uh, to present. And you are now presenter, uh, Melissa, and um, you have 10 minutes. It's all for you. Thank you, Julian. Thank you, Stuart. Appreciate that. Um, let me go ahead and see if I can move the slide. Can you guys see the next slide? That works. All right, perfect. So I'll spend just a couple minutes on some background, and then we'll move into an actual uh, very short demo um, to give you a better idea of what we're talking about. Um, so Excel for Apps has been around for almost 10 years now. Um, we've been in the Oracle and SAP space for quite a while, and um, we've got more than 700 customers using our Excel-based solutions um, that provide real-time reporting for finance and accounting folks, and that's why we're here today. So again, accounting and finance love Excel. They're going to live in it as long as they can, as Julian pointed out. Why? It's powerful, um, it's inexpensive, everybody already knows how to use it. So what we find is um, you know, folks are using it for a lot of different tasks in the finance and accounting area. Um, reporting, ad hoc reporting, budgeting and planning, 
management reporting, all those different types of needs. Um, obviously, Excel is a, a wonderful tool. Um, and so what's the problem with that? Well, what you see is there can be a lot of process and efficiency um, in trying to move that data um, from SAP over to Excel over and over and over again um, in a very manual way. So rekeying, copy pasting, reformatting that data um, requires a lot of time and a lot of effort. Um, you can also have in out, uh, inaccurate data and old data in your reports and not know it because Excel isn't actually linked to SAP. So our approach um, is to provide a solution called GeoWand for SAP. Um, this product is an Excel add-in. What it does is it delivers real-time FICO data directly in Excel and also gives you live drill down to line items and documents all from Excel. So very simple. Um, there's no data warehousing or intermediate staging. Um, you know, ultimately the goal is to accelerate those month-end processes. Um, it makes your Excel reports live, refreshable, and accurate, um, and it empowers the end user. So we find this is a, a major benefit and need, um, is accounting and finance is a very dynamic area. They need their reports when they need them, and um, it's really great if they can self-serve and not have to, uh, to wait for others to help. Um, we're just Excel. So Excel is our report writer and presentation layer, so there's a minimal training. Um, we're a very quick and easy install. Um, again, this is not a project. Um, it's an Excel add-in, so it's very simple. And um, clients tend to, to see a lot of value really quickly. And so to understand where it fits in your landscape of the other tools you may be using, it's very much a tactical tool. Um, and it really slots into those times when finance staff need that real-time data and need it really quickly. So for example, those ad hoc reporting and analysis um, tasks, and those are the tasks that they're doing in Excel constantly. So now what we're going to do is just switch over um, to, uh, let's see, I forgot how to share my screen here. We'll switch on over to Excel, and we'll do a very quick demo. There we go. Looks like it switched. That's terrific. So, that works perfect. Okay, great. A little bit of a delay here on this end, so I want to be sure. Um, so now we're looking at an Excel report. So everything you see here is just Excel. So all the layout, the formatting, the pretty charts and graphs, we're not something that actually you know, looks and feels like Excel. We are Excel. So the only difference here is um, where in other types of reports you might have static numbers, um, there are actually live formulas in these cells. So I just highlighted that up in the formula bar so you can see that. There was no rekeying, copy pasting, exporting, extracting um, here to get those numbers in. Um, the report just pulled those live numbers directly from SAP when I logged on and then opened it. So we simply fed those formulas some of our general ledger parameters to tell them what to retrieve and then they did all the work. So I like that because I'm just kind of naturally lazy. Um, so then to, to change this report, um, all you need to do is just use Excel skills, right? So to do things like add rows and columns, um, and then you can copy and paste these formulas around as needed. Um, we can change the FICO parameters as we wish. For example, let's say it's a new period. So we've gone from period four to period five. All I have to do is just change that one parameter on my sheet. I've got all my formulas pointed to that and the report will refresh for my period five numbers. So very simple, very easy, very quick. We've got the latest data. So once we have those summary balances, um, we can then drill down to get to the numbers behind them. So I'm gonna just double click on that. And I may have a little bit of a delay. So you should be able to see some line items. So now we can see all the line items that were behind that balance. Um, so as we do our analysis, it's all right here in Excel. I didn't have to go back to SAP. And from here, I can actually double click and get down to the documents. So again, we never left Excel. We're able to stay here and do everything that we needed to do. So I'm just gonna close those sheets really quickly. I could keep those if I wanted to. I could send them to somebody if I wanted to share them. It was just Excel. Um, so how did this happen? So once GeoWand is installed, um, we simply add a couple of tabs to your regular Excel layouts at the top. So you can see we've got a couple of new tabs up there uh, 
that have um, you know some options for our product. And then all we have to do to start reporting live in Excel is just log on to SAP. So I was already logged on, but what I'll do now is just reconnect so you can see what that looks like. Hopefully I got my SAP password correct. So we're using the SAP security and roles, so there was nothing new to add. Um, we've gone out to SAP. It's telling me which company codes that I'm allowed to see. I can choose which ones I run a report on today. So I just picked those. And now we're, again, going back to SAP, pulling in a little bit of configuration information. And um, we'll have a live link between Excel and SAP, so really simply. Um, what's nice is if you've got your reports already in Excel, and we know you do, you don't have to start over. You can take those reports that you've already created and laid out the way you want and just add our formulas. So very, simple, very simply, using that um, Excel cell referencing and anchoring capability, you can build those formulas one at a time, or just one time, sorry, and then copy-paste around the sheet. So conversion of those existing reports is really easy. I apologize, my internet connection may be a little bit slow. Um, but there it goes. Um, and so again, ultimately the value is eliminating all those manual processes that you're doing today, right? You can reduce that monthly close process and actually have more time to do things like um, analysis, stuff that's um, a little bit more important. And also you can build your reports um, anytime you want on your own um, and not have to, to go and wait for that to be done. So I'm going to stop the demo now because I'm being told that I am pretty much out of time. Um, if I stop sharing my desktop, I think I'll get back to the presentation and I can move to that the works. That's good. All right. So here's our contact information. If you would like to know more, if you'd like to come see us at Sapphire, we will be there. And uh, please let us know if you have questions. All right. I guess I have to pass it on to our, our next Perfect. Event. If you give it back to me, Julian. Julian. Great presenter, you should have the ball. Perfect. Well, thanks a lot, Melissa. Don't hesitate to contact Melissa. I sent everybody her contact information in the chat. And the next one on the line is uh, Z Option. And uh, Tim uh, Curtis, uh, Curtin, sorry, is going to take over. Tim, it's your turn. Okay, thank you very much, Julian. And uh, thank you to ASUG for sponsoring this event. It's a great opportunity for uh, good companies to come together and present to uh, the masses of people who use Excel. Uh, so, as you mentioned, I am Tim Curtin with Z Option, and uh, I'll tell you a little bit about our company, and uh, similar to Melissa, we'll get into a, a short demo. Z Option was founded about 15 to 16 years ago, and it was founded by accountants and programmers who were working with SAP professionals and continually doing the same type of uh, consulting work to help them integrate Excel into SAP. And uh, at that point, they decided, hey, let's, uh, let's build a product ourselves and uh, market it that way. So that's where we came from. Uh, Zoption offers world-class products and support to customers of all sizes, in all industries all around the world. So we have small companies, we have large companies. Uh, we are an SAP partner. Um, this is a quick little snippet of some of our customer base. Uh, we have others that are not on here, such as Shell Oil, IBM, Nike, Verizon, uh, but a complete list of our customer base is out on our website. And we invite you to go browse through that list at zoption.com. So for our value proposition, I'll touch on each of these and I will demonstrate a few of these in, uh, in just a second. Just like Melissa mentioned, everybody already uses Excel in the finance world. Uh, so the easy user interface, the familiarity with Excel uh, provides great value for our product. Our layouts, as you'll see, are very flexible. They allow the users to make quick changes to the layouts. And users, as we all know, can be different. They don't all like a uh, cookie cutter 
type of uh, presentation to their desktop or to their templates. Uh, our tool allows the users to kind of customize uh, their layouts to how they like to see them. Uh, GLSU is, provides a direct posting from Excel to SAP, so there is no exporting out from one file into a, onto a shared drive, for instance, and then going into SAP and having to go import it from that shared drive and searching for the file. This is a direct posting from Excel to SAP, as in uh, Excel being the alternative front end for journal entry uploads. Uh, our tool has built-in pre-validations. Uh, so there we have about 30 to 40 different master data items or fields that are pre-validated before posting. Uh, so it'll tell you if you have a field status group that uh, uh, provides an error, for instance. There are live pick lists direct from SAP. Uh, so as when you hit your F4 key in this case, it will actually go out to SAP and provide you with a pick list of the values, whether it be posting key, jail accounts, uh, any of those things, cost centers. One of our biggest benefits is the ability to attach a source workbook to a posted document. And so not only if you have a workbook with multiple tabs, not only is it the, the one tab that you may have posted, the entire workbook gets saved, uh, which is a benefit for cost center managers or auditors, for instance. Uh, they, they tend to love our solution in terms of finding data. Uh, the errors are returned to the spreadsheet all at one time, so you're not uh, getting a single error and you go fix it and you think you're done and then here comes another error. You know how many errors you have at one time uh, with GLSU. Uh, one thing I am going to show you is one of our newest uh, technologies with the tool. We can create a template from a document that has already been posted in SAP. So it will bring back all of the fields uh, from that SAP document and build a template for you in a matter of seconds. And we do have the ability to post more than that 999 limit, line limit of SAP uh, with a slight bit of configuration. We can post um, documents much larger than that all at one time. So I'm going to show you a quick demo, similar to how Melissa did, and let me uh, share my desktop. Yeah, and we can see that. Go ahead. You can see that, okay? Perfect. Okay. So as you see, our uh, our uh, tool does come in as an Excel add-in. All we have is a GLSU tab up here. Uh, once the installation is complete on the desktop. Now this is an example of a template that I built here about a half an hour ago, and I actually posted this document already. And as you see, I did not type that document number in. It was actually populated from SAP back into my template once I posted that. Now the beauty is, and I won't spend time doing this because we have some uh, time limits here, I can click on that as a uh, hyperlink and it will take me into SAP into that document itself and uh, allow me to look at it and you'll see that the audit trail is intact. My user ID is what I use to get in there. Uh, similar to Excel for Apps, GLSU also we use the, the standard SAP login ID and passwords. Uh, I mentioned pick lists. Uh, if I come over here to my posting key and I click on F4, it will bring up a pick list of all of my posting keys from SAP directly because I am logged in through the tool into SAP. Uh, that's just an example of how that works. Now one thing I do want to show you, as I mentioned, I posted this document here uh, a few minutes ago and I'm actually going to do a simple copy of that document number and I'm going to come over to a new demo sheet. It's a blank Excel spreadsheet. And I'm going to initialize, and as you'll see, I have a couple of choices here. I can initialize from this blank spreadsheet, build my template out, add the fields I want, or I can initialize from an already posted SAP document. And I talked about this a few minutes ago. I need this three pieces of information. 
One of them is being that document number that I pasted in there. My company code was 3000 and my fiscal year was 2014. And remember, this document was posted 30 minutes ago, but this could be three months ago or six months ago. And when I click OK, this will build me a template, a GLSU template, based on the information from SAP in that document that I created. So literally, okay, that might have taken six seconds, but I'm able to create this upload template. Now I can take out the information if I have new dollar amounts. I can take those out and put new dollar amounts in. Um, it brings back, actually, I didn't have this segment field on my previous uh, entry, but this I can go to the choose fields option. I can take that segment out if I don't want it. And this is how I, I choose uh, my fields, reading directly from SAP. Very user-friendly, all Excel-based. Uh, the entire workbook is down here with all kinds of different examples. Uh, here's a good example of more than 999 lines, for instance. It, it brings back three documents. So really, that's the only example I wanted to show you. Um, so I will actually go back to the... Uh, PowerPoint, so I can talk about our contact information before I turn it back over. Um, much like Excel for Apps, we will be at uh, the Sapphire Now and ASUG Annual Conference here in a couple weeks. We're booth 1014. Uh, we have a big presence there. Um, I did mention our website up above, zoption.com, and I will actually be having a full webinar presentation of this GLSU product today at 4 o'clock Eastern. So if you want to see more of this product, please go to our website to register for that event this afternoon. And there's Sherry Alexander, our account executive, with her contact information. Uh, so Julian, I'll turn it back to you. Thank you again for your time. Thanks a lot, Tim. That was a great presentation. Uh, uh, if you could pass me the control back just to see that it works. Perfect. Looks like it's working. So next up, we have uh, Adrienne Horowski from Kern, and the product is called Alevo. So now, Adrienne, you can take it from there. Passing it back to you. Give me a minute. Yes, thank you very much, Julian, and uh, thank you very much, Carsten and Julian, for organizing this uh, great event for everybody. Um, yeah, Kern, who is Kern? Uh, Kern, we are uh, a sof SAP software company and we have been developing um, solutions in the planning and controlling world uh, for over 18 years. Um, we are headquartered in, in Freiburg, Germany, and in Charlotte, North Carolina, in the U.S. Um, our team consists mostly of uh, former controllers, engineers, SAP developers, and uh, we, our goal is we think that we can provide a good understanding with that uh, background of these people uh, of the client business processes which serve then uh, as a foundation for creating a, a good solution. Um, what is our goal, our, our value added mission is we want to provide SAP users with a more tailored and simplified SAP experience. Uh, this is what uh, our, our main goal is. Uh, what is the solution? Um, the solution is called Alivo. Um, Alivo basically builds a bridge between Excel and SAP. Uh, we create a, a tailored Excel user interface uh, either in the SAP, SAP GUI or outside of the GUI, uh, which I will demonstrate in just a second. Um, with that, we remain uh, one single source of the truth by real-time reading and writing um, to and from SAP directly, uh, but you have a tailored Excel front end. Um, Alivo is an all-in-one planning solution, so from, from one user interface, you can plan um, your costs, your investments, your revenues, your COPO, COPA objects, anything you want. Uh, and as I said, we want to provide a simplified solution um, that also means we need to have a low-cost 
of ownership, meaning it's easy to own, it's easy to implement, the average implementation time is less than 20 days, um, you use existing SAP in Excel, and you can maintain and change things in Excel as you, as you ongo, as your business process and business requirement change. Um, what are some of our customers? Uh, currently, we serve over 150 uh, clients in Europe and North America. As you can see, we are not restricted to any industries. Basically, uh, pretty much like every, uh, all the other solutions in this webinar, um, our requirement is uh, SAP and Excel. And I think everybody knows Excel is still the controller's best friend, as uh, Julian mentioned before. Um, our value, I want to demonstrate a quick case study, what we were able to do um, at this company called Tusen Krupp. Um, Tusen Krupp Stainless, they built a, uh, a large manufacturing plant of stainless steel in the last uh, couple of years in, in Calvert, Alabama. Um, the challenge was we have multiple manufacturing processes at multiple production plants, so in the U.S., Germany, Mexico. Uh, there was a very detailed approach to plan and to allocate costs of more than uh, 850 million every year per plant. Um, and it was very important to, to harmonize and be able to uh, benchmark these things together. Um, it was also important to, since uh, every day there are changes made to production plans and, <laughs> and um, requirements, which means the flexibility has to be given to adjust quickly and react quickly to see what is the impact on the, on the overall bottom line of the company. Um, and of course, how do we get the controllers back from uh, um, data entry to actually doing what they're supposed to do is with analyzing and making uh, cost saving um, opportunities. Um, what were we able to do? Um, we dramatically reduced planning cycles um, by eliminating, first of all, the double work, and also by remaining, and also with uh, uh, be able to read and write directly from one source. Uh, so we reduced the planning cycles from eight weeks to two weeks, very dramatically. We uh, we started off with 90 Excel sheets. At the end, uh, Aliva only needs one master file, as I will demonstrate. We were able to go to two files, and we did this for five plans with one template. Uh, so basically, we were able to provide more transparency uh, through a uh, user-specific profile. People who the logistic only saw their applicant, uh, uh, the data that was applicable for them. Uh, people in production only saw the uh, data that was applicable to, to these guys. Um, and overall, it, it gives the controllers more time to analyze, look for cost saving measures, and in this uh, specific example, uh, we were able to save just over 750K just in benchmarking throughout these plans, what was done there, what was done here. Um, I want to jump to the next slide, which is our case study, uh, our product demonstration, and I will try to share my desktop. Hope everybody can see it. Yeah, I can see it. It works. Great. So this is basically our uh, Aliva business client. As you can see, all you do is you log in. Uh, we're going to create English, since we don't want to talk German here. It's hard enough, hard enough of a language. So you log into the SAP system, and automatically it comes up with an agenda. You can set an agenda for your controllers anywhere in the world, say in China or in the US or in Europe. Uh, so they are, you give them basically an agenda, hey, you need to plan uh, your plan, you need to plan only these cost centers, you need to plan only these investments, um, etc. cetera. Um, as you can see here, this is our master template. So this, I want you to imagine this will be your planning Excel sheet. Now just quickly uh, plan Excel for the last couple of years and um, you see cost elements, that is a key figures. Um, now I'm directly connected to SAP, and now I'm going to just pull up the, that, that cost center 1,000 here, and so now we're going to retrieve the data from the SAP system, we're going to read it, um, and then from one source here, we're going to be able to plan uh, all kinds of things, the other investments, personnel costs, production costs, uh, we can plan activity types, 
um, all these things. So you see, uh, um, yeah, just as an example, the salaries have been uh, going up. So now I would like to plan, start planning with uh, the cost element of salaries. I can put in a formula here. I can put in a hard figure. Here I'm just going to say I'm going to raise it by 10% of, of the actual from 2012. And you see here I have all already the, the cost elements that are, that are planning relevant for one specific user. Yeah? Um, you see on, on the top of here our, our ribbons where we can plan in this case, on a yearly basis, we can plan on a monthly basis. You see here, it would spread it out. I can change it from one to another very easily. Um, I can also plan from here allocations. So a sender and receiver relationship, um, activity dependent planning, investments, any type of CO, PA uh, uh, object, anything. Uh, so basically, what I did here, and I'm going to, you know, just also a comment. We will save these comments directly in SAP so there's no customizing done. Um, all I'm going to press here is post, and all these transactions are simultaneously posted. So we'll press post. Now we're going to write it back into the standard SAP table. So there's no customizing done whatsoever. And you see here it's going to update real time. So you see here now we have plan, a planned its post is ended. So now we see here the planning uh, of 1.6 million. Yeah. Now can go, I can also see actual line items here. Yeah, I'm not going to do that due to the uh, restriction of the time. Um, just going back to the presentation. Okay, as you see here, yeah. You, uh, our contact information, please feel free to, to contact me at any time. Um, our website is www.alivo.us. Um, you can also uh, shoot me an email or give me a quick call, and I would love to demonstrate how your Excel world fits in Alivo and your SAP world. And therefore, I would like to uh, pass the word on to the next Thanks a lot. Can you, thanks a lot, Adrian. Uh, you're 10 seconds yeah. left. You're really using your time. That's perfect. Uh, so next on the line, we do have uh, Truqua, who uh, is a BPC shop. So Jared uh, is going to uh, is going to present us uh, their own best practices. I think, Jared, you're unmuted. Yep. Okay, yeah. can you hear me now? now? It's up to you. Yeah, okay. perfect. Go ahead. Okay. I think... Can everyone see my desktop now? Yeah, that works. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Yeah, so just um, a little background about Truqua. We are a an SAP partner that um, partners with SAP and product development um, to help um, enhance their their BPC and other SAP planning solutions. Um, we come from SAP. Our two founders, Dave Dixon, Scott Karen Cross, um, both came from SAP. Scott Karen Cross was the BPC regional um, implementation group manager um, for the product and and helped bring it over from OutlookSoft. Um, you know, we are more system implementers, consultants. Um, we do do software solutions, but they are more along the lines of um, enhancing BPC um, for either custom scenarios or, um, you know, broader gap functionality um, to help make the product better. So it's just a, a brief overview of our background. You know, we come from ERP um, and BW and, and work with the different SAP planning solutions on top of that. Here are some of our clients. You know, Small company, with, but with some high-profile projects and, and clients. So, very proud of our, our track record. So now we can get into showing what BPC does. This is um, you know a live demo. Uh, this is a recorded demo, but um, done in real time to build a report. Um, this is EPM add-in out of the box, so this does not include any of our our 
um, solutions and um, things that we've developed to enhance BPC, this is what you get out of the box. So if you're thinking about using BPC and, and what the EPM add-in looks like, um, this is what you'll get, you know, once you fill it with, with master data. So without further ado, oh, sorry. Okay, it doesn't look like the video is going to play embedded, so you don't mind. That works fine, Seal. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. Um, so, yeah, this is what you get out of the box, so we're just going to go ahead and log in. And this is connected directly to SAP BW, so BPC is installed as an adding component. Um, on top of your SAP BW system, um, which can then be integrated with SAP ERP. This add-in is just installed um, on your Excel. You can see when we open the report, we have um, your data connections to the right, and you can make multiple connections. To build a report, you can just grab data elements and drag them to the rows, um, your columns, or to a page access, which acts like a filter. Very easy, you can either do drag and drop or right click. There's also functionality to type in the dimensions directly. So we can see that I'm adding customer and product to the row dimension. I'm adding time to the column, um, to the column axis rather, and customer and product to the row axis. And I'm putting entity in the page axis. So I'm going to filter by United States, and that's going to be applicable for, for all the reports that I build on this sheet. So we can see that the products and the customers come in automatically and they're based on a hierarchy. You can load your hierarchies directly from SA, um, from BW, which can come from, from ERP. This is a time hierarchy. So we can see that we have 2014.total. The context bar along the top, um, right above the Excel sheet, allows you to navigate by just using those drop downs, which have the master data that's in your SAP system. So by just going to those drop downs and clicking, I can I can edit my report on the fly. So here I'm going back to my report and we can see that the context is member and children 2014 dot total. But I want this report to show months, so I can simply bring it back and then select 2014 dot total. And then come down and say that I want all the base members, which are the lowest level of this hierarchy. And you can do the same functionality for any dimension that has a hierarchy. I'm showing time because it's it's easy to display and, and make sense of, you know, in, in uh, a quick demo. So I'm going to go ahead, hit OK. My report refreshes automatically. And now I get time across my column access. And so no coding. I could update formulas to make them uh, driven off of Excel or, or parameter ranges. Um, however, this is all done within this edit report tab. So there's no, no coding needed. Um, you can just drag and drop and, and make selections. Here I have, um, I'm changing, you know, actuals. I'm adding actuals to the column so I can see and do an actual versus forecast. Um, you can go up to the context bar and change between your different plan cycles, whether it's actual or forecast or plan. We can see our plan cycles to the left. So now I'm gonna bring it in side by side with actual. So now I should get for each month, actual and plan side by side. So I'm gonna hit okay and the report updates. And now I have actual versus plan. So this is all pretty, um, you know, it's not very well formatted. E BPC and EPM adding comes with a formatting sheet that can be dynamic. The, the key strength of this product is that I can build these reports on the fly and they can be dynamic. I can expand down a P&L or a customer hierarchy um, or a product hierarchy, and this formatting will follow just by using simple Excel, you know, standard Excel formatting 
functionality, I can format my row key ranges, my column key ranges, um, as well as the data cells just off this EPM sheet, which is delivered with the product. So now we can see that I've coded, um, I've formatted my row keys blue and my column keys gray, and I've put in a um, variance, which shows that, and here is, is where we're showing how you just can link to that dynamic um, template. So that, will, that first sheet was something that was already pre-built that we're building towards. Now I'm going to turn on the formatting for this sheet and this report. Refresh my report. And now I should see the same type of formatting that we had on the, on the other sheet. So very simple, out of the box, and very quick. Great for dynamic reporting. Now I'm going to add a variance that compares actual versus plan. These are local member formulas, which are, you can just type in Excel formulas and you can insert them and attach them to different um, dimension members, so different business objects, if you will. This one I've attached to the plan cycle. So it's a formula that just compares actual to plan. And as I expand the report to the right or to the left or up and down, that formula is going to follow. And then using that format sheet, I was able to do apply conditional formatting for um, you know, positive and negative variances. Here I'm demonstrating how we can um, drill down the hierarchy and get to the, the lowest level. So I'm replacing um, what I had with the base members of both my customer and product dimension. And I'm going to write back some data. Um, I'm going to compare forecast to plan, and I'm going to adjust my plan accordingly um, because my plan came in a little low. So here I'm just rebuilding you know, just with a couple clicks, I'm rebuilding my report. Now it's going to expand to all the base level members that I can update directly in Excel. So here, my forecast and plan were exactly the same. Here I'm going to adjust up the forecast by 5% and just copy that Excel formula, normal Excel formula down. Charles, you need to move on. Okay. And then just submit that data, and then we're done. There's also drill back functionality, um, and that pretty much wraps up the BPC demo. And right there is drill through. It can go to a Bex query. If you, we will also be at ASUG as well as um, we have a joint. SAP conference um, going over HANA in Chicago, but we'll be at um, Sapphire in Orlando in June and CBN in Newtown Square, Pennsylvania, controlling San Diego. So lots of conferences. If you happen to be in Nice, we'll be there next week speaking. You'll see a lot of what you saw here. So just want to thank you again for your time. Thank you, Julian Carson, for putting it together. And uh, feel free to contact us. Come to our website if you have any questions. Thank you. Sure. Can you pass the control back to me? Yep. Thanks, Jared. And the last one but not least is our dear uh, Carsten, who is going to show us how to uh, oh, yeah, um, how to do the same with HANA Live. Carsten, it's up to you now. Yes, Carsten, you should have the presenter, right? Yeah, you're already presenter right now. Carsten, can, we can't hear you. Are you on mute, maybe? I'm on. I can hear you. I don't have the button. Perfect. Sorry. Can you speak a little louder? Yeah. I don't have the button to share right now. Uh, you should be presenter now, so you should have the option to, yeah. to uh Carson, if to you look at the desktop. top left, if you click share uh, desktop, once you click on that, desktop should display as one of the options. That uh, works. It's coming up. Yeah. There we go. Wonderful. Okay, cool. All right. So, um, yep. Make this louder. 
So excellent. Uh, so we saw basically how you can use Excel to display data. We saw uh, how you can post transactions in Excel. We saw how you can build little planning models and post this data back via standard SAP transactions. And we saw how BPC kind of allows to do planning models through a de dedicated application. There's obviously various other opportunities within SAP to work with Excel, even within SAP. I picked the one that's kind of new, um, and, and it requires HANA as compared to all the other solutions that we saw right now. And HANA basically stores real-time finance information. What you can do is you can connect directly via your Excel interface against this data using a plugin called Analysis for Office Tool. And since I'm not an expert in this area, I uh, dug up a recording that Thomas Fleckenstein did. He actually has several recordings, also using other business objects BI tools. And I'm going to run that for you so you can hear from him firsthand, you know, how this can be made happen. We hope you can hear, Justin. And it's pretty simple. You will go to the System DSM tab, press the Add button, and now it's important to select the right driver, which is this one, HDBO EDC32. Now, all that's left actually is to enter a system name, a description, and the server port. Again, we're going to connect against our development system. the connection. And it connects us successfully. So, great. Let's save this one. Let's give it maybe a slightly different name. VS3 Demo. Okay. Now, as we have done this, um, we can start um, Analysis Office. So now I'm going to start Analysis Office. Here it comes. And now it's pretty easy actually to um, insert one of the uh, Subhana Analytics Foundation views into such a workbook. You just turn to the Analysis tab, say Insert, select data source, and now it's important that you skip the next, um, the next prompt here because this would connect you against the BOE server, but actually we are going directly against the HANA instance. So we say skip, and now you can see that our configured database connection VS3 demo is available, and I double click on this. Of course, I'm asked for my user and password. And again, I can search now for one of the views, which I do again. It will be the same view that we had before. It's the billing document item query. As you can see, it comes up as the first view, analytical report, list of billing document items, and the technical name, maybe you recall that, is the same that we saw in the Subhana Studio. Now, the only prompt I get here is for um, the SAP client. After having entered this one, now the, HANA uh, now the HANA machine will basically do the aggregation of all the data. And I'm coming up with this initial view, which shows me all the measures, the key figures, if you like, of that view aggregated across all dimensions. Now, as this doesn't make an awful lot of sense, we, of course, now include a couple of dimensions from this list here, which is, by the way, of course, the same field list that we saw in the SubHANA Studio. Now, let's put in transaction currency, for example. And keep in mind, it's always going back to the server and doing a full round trip to get the latest data to be absolutely up to date. But as you can see, it's not that we have all to wait all too long for a response. And now I was putting in the billing document type name. Of course, I can remove a couple of measures. So I can basically do the same things that you have already known from BEX Analyzer or from other tools like that. Let's add now have a kind of ultimate test, the billing document item itself, to have the full drill down 
Of course, we don't have an awful lot of data in here, but as you can see, even displaying the full amount of data and aggregating it takes a lot of time. Now, this was just a very short um, demo, but as you can imagine, using this in combination with Excel gives users quite a lot of options. Yeah? The data is real time, it's very accurate, it's very fast, and you have all the joy and all the fun you know from Excel. This is actually how we envision people using that most of the time. Uh, let me remind you again that there's other clients we also recommend. One of them is CryptoV, for example. The other one is a Business Options Explorer. And the fourth one we uh, might replace soon is Excelsis Dashboards. On our short list is, uh, of course, Visual Intelligence, a very important uh, product that we uh, are evaluating right now. And it looks pretty good. So it will very soon get a recommendation. And we're doing the same for the SAP Design Studio, uh, also from the BI colleagues. So what I wanted to show you here is basically how you can use the Excel interface with this plugin, and the plugin basically is this analysis area here, uh, to, to go directly against uh, SAP finance data sitting on HANA, and it could be, good, uh, could be gotten there through the side-by-side -side implementation or through a suite on HANA implementation. And by putting a few in, as we just saw, uh, that basically in HANA Studio says these are all the fields. You can use them directly in your Excel user interface very much like a pivot table where you say this is what I want to have in the columns, this is what I want to have in the rows, this is what I have as a filter. And of course you can use standard SAP delivered views. Now these views uh, add, have the advantage over traditional data analysis uh, because they uh, combine uh, the line item detail, they bring the text and description in, they bring customizing data in like the, the period, so now you not only have an account or a customer, you also have the name, you not only have the period as a number, but maybe as a description, 03 would be March. So you can start directly with these predefined views that are available, you can bring your own, uh, develop your own views there, but bottom line is now people in the finance department can use Excel directly as a front end against uh, against ERP data. As I said, the difference to the solutions before is this one requires HANA, and not everyone has HANA up in life, but this is where we're going right now. That's why I thought this was important to show to you. With that, I'll hand it back to Julian. Yes, please. Thanks a lot, Carsten. That's very interesting. Uh, so if you could please yeah, send it back to me. It's coming up. Okay. I guess that's working now. So, that was uh, Kasten, Kasten from SAP. Uh, thanks a lot, everybody. Uh, we had everybody respect the time, so that was very, very, very good. Um, again, as I said earlier, we will not be taking questions just to make sure that everybody has a fair share. Uh, but as a reminder, we had today um, Excel for Apps was here. Um, then we had uh, Z Option, then Kern, then TrueCore, and SAP. They can all be contacted for your questions, and this is their information. And please, please let us know, because this is really a first time we're trying something like this. Let us know your feedback. I'm sending my information in the chat as well uh, for everybody. So please let us know if, if you liked it or not, uh, if you want to know more, and in general for the uh, finance uh, group inside the ASUG, please let us know what other topics you would like to see covered. And uh, if you are all coming to the um, to the conference in June, uh, I would be more than happy to see you there. With that, uh, with that, I would like to turn it back to Acer headquarters. Uh, that will uh, conclude the session. Thank you. Um, this concludes our webcast today. I would like to thank our speakers. As mentioned earlier, uh, the slides and recording link will be emailed to you and accessible on asug.com. Have a great rest of your day.